Hey guys, it's Ben here from the fiberglass factory. Today I'm gonna to be running through with you how to fix this fiberglass cover. So this fiberglass cover has been given to us by a customer. Obviously we're missing some bits. So we'll be running through with you how to form up those pieces again and how to fix the cracks and repairs the bits and pieces that are not looking so flash and not operating how they should. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to have something here. We're gonna to have to make a form here and same on this side so we can glass up the inside. We're gonna to have to stitch this back together on the outside so we can glass it back together on the inside. And then we'll have to use some filler to finish the job off and then reflocate the whole thing. So that's the plan. Oh, so the first step is we're going to get our grinder out and we're going to prep all around where we're going to be glassing so that it's ready after we've stitched it together we can just glass and we don't have to be trying to grind around where there's screws holding it together. Here's our flat wheel that we'll be using and our five inch grinder. Make sure to wear a respirator and long sleeves and long pants to stop the fibres getting on your arms and making you all itchy. So we have prepared just outside where the cracks are and now we're going to attach these back together in the same spot that they were so that when we glass it, we won't have to run a cut through there so that sits right. It'll be the same with the other stuff. Might attach screws with, with stitches here just to hold it together. Just been adding a little bit of extra resin and glass just around where the joins are just because i'm expecting to grind into that a little bit and that'll make it a little bit thinner there now this is where we're at we've glassed all our bits and pieces. So now we're going to remove our formwork and then we can uh, continue on from there. Now the formwork's removed, we want to get rid of the hot glue with a scraper because we don't want to be gunking up our grinding disc by trying to grind it. So 
So you can still see the crack at the moment, but we're just about to V it out and then we'll fiberglass this outside here. And that'll start to blend the crack back into the job. So the next job for me is for us to trim the fiberglass so that we know what we're working with. Using the angle grinder like before. Here's what we've done. This is our old fiberglass here. This is where our crack was. We've glassed over the back of it here. And then what we're gonna do, what we're about to do is V out here so that we actually totally remove the crack. And then we're gonna fiberglass in over the top of that. And that'll, and some of the fiberglass will end up on top by accident. Is that just what happens? And then we'll grind that stuff down and then we'll fill over the top Sand it back, it'll be just as strong as what it was when it started. All right, so we have V'd it all out, and now we're about to fiberglass over the top of the V, and then I'll sort of hold it all together. All right, so just giving you an update. So we had stress cracking all through here, and because the job's going so well, I decided that I was just gonna glass this a layer over the top of it. I sort of ground it out as much as, I'd ground all the gel coat out, and it was still going into the laminate a little bit, so I decided I'd just laminate over it and put a layer over the top of it. That'll hold it all together. And then I'm about to grind it back again, and then we can start filling this area. And I'm gonna have to do exactly the same on the other side. All right, so we just got some regular car body filler now, polyester, and we're just, we're just starting to mix it, and then we can smooth it over the top of it. So we're gonna, we're just smoothing this body filler in. Now once it's gone off, we're gonna go over this with the eight inch orbital sander to cut it back and then we can move on to the next thing. This will probably take about 15 minutes to go off in this kind of temperature which is about 20 degrees and then we should be able to sand it within 20 minutes to 25 minutes. It's important to keep your applicator clean so when you're finished with your pass then clean your applicator right up so that you've got a nice clean tool to work with. Very important. So we've put a layer of filler on this and we've sanded that back and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Well, here's the final piece, guys. We've flocated the outside. We sprayed it on this time, so it's looking quite neat. It's a bit of a rough sort of a texture, but that'll be good. That'll give it some good protection, and hopefully it'll last a bit longer than the last time. So just a quick recap on the process. So we formed up some sections. We prepared inside, and we re-glassed all the cracked pieces. We ground it out on the outside. We fiberglassed the outside again, ground that back. Then we filled it and now we've flow coated to finish it. We'll also put some flow coat on the inside just to tidy it up so that it looks exactly the same on the inside and the outside. Thanks for watching.